So this is day 62 of our daily memory verse challenge. Is the 2nd of March 2020. And I'm sharing from Ephesians chapter 5 verse 27 which says, And to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish but holy and blameless. So still on the analogy between Christ and the church in comparison to what God expects from husbands as how you relate to your wives. Okay, so here we see that if just the way that Christ prepares the church for himself by ensuring that the church is spotless, is blameless, is holy, no stain, eh? no dirty, no stain, no spot, no wrinkle, everything is straightened out and ironed out. Mm? And when he does that, he does it with love to the point that he even took a whole lot of insult, a whole lot of beating. He even allowed himself to die on the cross just to achieve this purpose of purity in the church. This is what God is expecting from husbands as regards to your wife. Your duty as a husband, men of God, men of God, hmm? no matter your position, no matter what you are doing or where you see yourself in the body of Christ, every man that is married, God expects you to bring out the best in your wife. It is your duty, any fault you see in your wife, it is not for you to antagonize her, to criticize her, to bring her down, but rather invest in her to bring out the best in her. Speak the word of God, use the word of God to edify her, use your word to form your wife. And whatever you can do, if it means investing money in her, brushing her up educationally, inspiring her spiritually, whatever it takes for you to make your wife what she should be presentable for you whatever you are investing in your wife you are doing it for yourself basically eh? at the end of your at the of the day she now you go enjoy her mm? you show her off to other people other men will, uh, or other women will envy her that's you don't go leave your wife tattered at home and you're chasing around other women Eh? Well, it doesn't make any sense. Your own is there, rotting. The one that you you invest, I mean, the, the one that you went out and you married and you you have in your home, you just allow it to waste away. Some people, their women will just die of, their wives will just die of out of heartbreak, out of suffering, eh? out of neglect, and you are chasing shadows. What's the point? Why not? invest your time and energy in what you have and let it blossom that it will even outshine what those things you are pursuing anyway at the end of the day the point is you are the head we are not struggling that wives we, let us not drag head with the men their responsibility is too is too much it's too much for us to even carry uh, let them carry their the head position but the point I, I'm trying to make for men is to be the head, no be by mouth. It comes with so many responsibility. Okay, it is your duty to make the to bring out the best out of the wife that God has blessed you with, and may God continue to uplift you as you continue in this ministry that God has has bestowed to you. All right, so I'll encourage everyone that is watching this video. Please make sure you read your Bible every day, meditate on God's word, and memorize at least one verse. At least one verse, and most importantly, practice what you read, practice what you hear. Okay, <sighs> all right. I seem to be short of words as at this time, which is good. So I'll see you all on day 63. Have a lovely night. Bye.